welcome to the song series. Thank you so much for joining me. Now with each sign I'm going to take you through a quick recap on what your sign is all about and then I'm going to dedicate my song to you. So what is your sign all about in brief? Well you guys are ruled by Mars, your element is fire, you are symbolized by the ram and your motto is I am. Now each sign has a motto, so yours is I am, Taurus is I have, Gemini is I communicate, so on and so forth. And we're going to see that as we go through the entire zodiac. So what is Aries all about? Well you guys are number one in the zodiac, you come first. You guys represent the head as well. And the head, that's a really interesting thing because you go head first into things, don't you? You know, you don't mess about. You just, boom, you get straight into it. Uh, your natural born leaders. I've got a note here that in a room, everyone notices the Aries. When an Aries comes into the room, you know, you know it. Uh, I think they're kind of, you know, they can be party people. They're high energy. They are the soldier on the battlefield. And these are the people who want to go forward fearlessly and conquer. And that's the Mars energy coming through there. As for your song, I decided to dedicate to you Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears. Now, if you're an 80s child like I am, then you would know this song really, really well. But of course, if you're a bit younger, you may not know this song, but I'm sure when you click on it and hear it, You'll know it. You would have heard it. I'm sure of that. It's, it's such a classic. Now you're very welcome to at this point pause the video, go and listen to the song. I've got a link in the description below. You can have a listen to your song and then come back for the analysis or you can watch the analysis and then afterwards go and listen to your song. It's a really cool song. I love it. I love this song. It, it's got that movement type of energy that wants makes you want to move, makes you want to get going kind of thing. So I really, really love this song. If we take a look at the visuals of the song, uh, because I will go through it, I'll go through the lyrics that match your energy and visuals as well, everything. I've looked at the whole thing and really, you know, for you, I actually didn't shortlist too many songs. I was just like, this is the one, this is it. Now visually, it interestingly starts off with silence. That is quite interesting. And if we take a look at where you are in the zodiac, uh, we've got you here, Aries, springtime. And But if we look at who's right next door, who's right next door? Well, we have got, no, oh, I don't want that to run away. We have got Pisces right next door okay so for you guys the beginning and the end pressed up nice and close next to each other okay the consciousness of the very beginning and the very end right right together it's quite incredible to have some silence at the start of the journey and i actually think that's perfectly appropriate for your sign uh, even though perhaps Aries can be a bit restless and maybe you're not uh, the greatest of meditators, I actually think it's really, really, and, and some of you might be, some of you might be extremely on it meditation-wise. I'm not saying that you can't do it or that you don't do it, but I am saying that, uh, you know, it's not something you would associate with Aries. You kind of associate meditation and stillness and silence more with the Pisces side of things. But what I like is that your song actually starts with a good 30 seconds of silence. And I like that because it's kind of like that deep breath in that you take before the journey. You think about it, you know, when a baby is born, it's that first breath where that I am presence happens. You know, when they breathe in for the first time and then maybe they cry, you know. Uh, that is individuation. That is the child nourishing itself for the first time away from mum. You know, nine months, it's been mother nourishing them. They haven't had to do that. 
for themselves particularly. Well, I don't think they've had to. Uh, but definitely when they come out into the world and they take in that first breath, it's that first I am. So it's that little bit of silence. And then your song begins. We see the little boy. He's on the tricycle. He's got his guns blazing. Uh, he's really cute. And that is, to me, that's perfect for this because it's the start. It's the start of life. You know, it's the beginning. And I think when we begin life, I think it's in the terrible twos or something when our ego first emerges and that I am and I own this and I'm not sharing my toy and all that kind of thing begins. You know, so it's terrific to have this little boy there. And then very quickly, visually, we have the little boy come out and then we see a car and then we see a plane. That's perfect as well. That's fantastic because that is the evolution of life, isn't it? That, you know, uh, our industrial age, we've kind of turned up and we've created all these things, you know. So there's this big metaphor going on there from, from the little boy with his guns are blazing and then, you know, all this industrial kind of activity. Uh, the notable lyrics that I wanted to point out where I really felt your energy come through strongly. Let's take a look at some of these lyrics. So we've got, welcome to your life. There's no turning back. There's no turning back. Absolutely. I mean, we come to this point. There is no turning back. You know, we have to go through the whole thing. We've just begun here. And, and there really is no turning back. You know, at, at the start of the zodiac, that's it. You're here now. You know, you've got to go through it. You've got to see if you're going to do the hero's journey. Are you going to make it? What's it going to be like? And the lyrics go, even while we sleep, we will find you acting on your best behavior. Turn your back on Mother Nature. Everybody wants to rule the world. Turn your back on Mother Nature. That's really interesting. It's that thing of I am, you know, I think as a collective consciousness, as a group, we've kind of done that. We've kind of come to this earth and been like, well, I am. I am going to knock down all these trees and build these buildings here and I am going to drive my car and I am going to uh, turn my back on Mother Nature, you know. And this line, everybody wants to rule the world, that is such a fantastic line for you because you have natural leadership abilities. You have natural leadership qualities. So you would assume, because that's a natural gift to you, you would automatically assume that everybody wants to rule the world. You know, but if you were to stick with me through the Zodiac, you're going to find some very different personalities and some people who really don't want to rule anything. You know, they're quite content to be led, but you're not. You want to rule. You want to rule the world even, you know, and I like that. I think that's, that's fantastic. Uh, here we've got the line that says, it's my own desire. Fantastic line for you. Desire. Mars is absolutely about desire. There's a Vedic astrologer that I follow online and he does a lot of videos just about Mars. And one of the things he says is that Mars to him, in his way of thinking, is, is pure, pure desire. It's all about desire. And I think that's quite true. I've heard different things about Mars, that it's um, your ability to fight for what you believe in. It's beliefs as well. Uh, it, it's lots of different things. Mars is a wonderful energy. And then the lyrics continue, it's my own remorse, help me to decide, help me make the most of freedom and of pleasure, nothing ever lasts forever, everybody wants to rule the world. Wow, that's great, help me make the most of freedom and of pleasure, right, because you guys come here and you want to make the most of it and the best of it, you want to make the most of life. You know that time here is short. And why do you know this? Because you're pressed up against the end. You're here and you're pressed up against the end. You're first and the end is right next door. That is in your consciousness. You know that it's going to end. But you're at the start. So you're like, well, i got to make the most of this, you know. And, and you haven't been through the misery of any of uh, some of the, you know, when the light diminishes. Not that that's miserable. Don't worry. We're going to get to that. You're going to see. It gets fun down here. You'll see. But, uh, you know, I really like that line. Help me make the most of freedom and a pleasure. 
nothing ever lasts forever. Everybody wants to rule the world. I really think that these lyrics just channel your energy so beautifully. These lines are sensational. I can't stand this indecision married with a lack of vision. That's a great phrase for your energy. Why is this so good? This is great because you've got vision. And, you know, I can't stand this indecision. I imagine the Saturnian thing of delay would drive you mad you know, because you just want to get on with it. You know, do, do, do. That's Mars. Mars is like, get it done. Let's go. Come on. Hurry up. I want to finish this. We've got to get the next thing going. Come on, come on. Right? It's this powerful energy of go, 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 you know. And I can't stand this indecision. It's like Mars and Saturn, you know, Saturn's the brakes. Mars is the accelerator pedal. I've heard that a lot and, and I think that's quite true. So I can't stand this indecision married with a lack of vision. You know, that, that would be just frustrating for you guys because you have vision and you are very decisive. Uh, I've put some notes here. Yeah, we've got visually what's going on as well with this. Visually, I think it stands. You know, we've got petrol pumps, guys on dirt bikes, guys in tuxedos. So there's that party element there. Uh, dirt bikes on sand. I thought that was kind of Mars-like. If we were to live on Mars, maybe, maybe it'll look like that. I don't know, maybe we'll all be wearing tuxedos on a desert kind of surface. Who knows? <laughs> um... I've got a note here, we're going to come to the earth, we're going to create, we're going to go places. Absolutely. So when I get to the end of each sign, I take you through what's great about your sign. What is great about you? My God, Aries, there are so many things that are great and wonderful about you. You have a pioneering spirit. You are the true doers of the zodiac. Absolutely. You'll get it done you know, without question. I love that phrase. They say, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. I mean, you could rewrite that. You could say, if you want something done, give it to an Aries, you know, same thing. Uh, you guys are quite possibly the inventors of the bucket list. And, you know, it's really interesting. I once mentioned the bucket list in conversation and a person who was in that group didn't know what a bucket list was. And I thought that was really cool that there are people who have created bucket lists and know all about it and are actively doing their bucket list. And there are people who don't even know what on earth that is. I think that's great that there are people who don't know what it is and there are people who do. You do. I can't imagine that any one of you wouldn't know what a bucket list is. Of course, these are all the things that you want to do before you kick the bucket. Now, I'd imagine that you're probably at least halfway through yours, if not onto your second one. And I've also got a note here that Aries is a sign that probably doesn't know what FOMO is. Okay, so while you're the inventor of the bucket list, there is something you don't know, and that's FOMO. What is FOMO? It stands for fear of missing out. And the reason you wouldn't know about that is because you're always there you know you're the person at the party who you'll try a bit of everything you know if there's a dance floor you'll have a bit of dance if there's like a buffet you'll probably try all the different foods there if there's a photo booth you'll get your photo taken if there's a pinata you'll probably hit the pinata you'll do a little bit of everything you know you're not the one who turns up has an orange juice talks to two people and then leaves you know, silently without anyone knowing. That's not you. You are the person who is at the party all night as well. And then, you know, you're like there at 3 a.m., people are leaving. You're like, come on, we've only just started. What are you doing? Come on. That's you. And then the next day, you're at the beach and you're wondering where everyone is and you're putting photos on social media and you're giving everyone FOMO. You're giving everyone fear of missing out. That's what you're doing. So I bet you didn't know that, but that's what's going on. Um, I've got another note here that if you're down on motivation, go to an Aries. They make wonderful coaches. They do make wonderful healers as well. Um, you know, absolutely. You can find amazing healers, coaches, life coaches, motivational people. Aries, they're the ones that you want to meet. So... If I had to give you a tip, Aries, what would that tip be? Well, 
I would say, and I, I, I'm going to go to each sign. In each sign, I'm going to give them a tip. And for you, my tip, Aries, is to focus on, I'm going to put a little star. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to say, Aries, you need to focus on your polar opposite, which is Libra. And that is a place where instead of just, you know, pushing ahead and being the fearless leader that you are, go over to the Libra side of things, your polar opposite, and spend time with people. But here's my challenge to you. Spend time with them, but don't lead them. Just be with them or be led by them. Be, be a sheep. Practice being a sheep, like a little bit, now and then. Don't worry, not forever. Anyway, you can't. You're an Aries and you're a visionary and you're a leader. So that's just automatically going to keep happening. But to broaden your horizons, to expand, to explore, to try something new, you could head into your polar opposite, hang out with people, not lead them, just hang out with them, possibly be a sheep, just relax and try that out for a change. See how you like it and you'll learn something new about yourself. So I hope you enjoyed my song dedication to you, Aries. I hope you feel fantastic about what a terrific sign you are, what a much loved sign and very much necessary to the all that you are. And if you would like to join me in the next sign, then we're going to discuss Taurus. So I'll either see you in Taurus or I'll simply say thanks for stopping by. <laughs>